Hi guys. Today we're gonna make a master cam lathe tool pads, a geometry and tool pads. So let's take a look at the drawing. So here's the drawing, the lathe drawing. So unlike uh, the milling tool pads, the lathe is a little bit different. You're gonna start your drawing this year. So let's go. This is our origin. So all your drawings must be uh, left side of this origin. So uh, left side of this line. Starting from this point, your drawing must be in this side. So it's based on your uh, your lathe uh, lathe uh, jaws, chuck jaws. So so this is our drawing. So we're gonna make this. So what the interesting part is, uh, we're just gonna make the half drawing here because uh, the preview gonna be uh, full uh, fully rotated as a, as it's a lathe. So we're gonna divide all these uh, dimensions uh, by two. So uh, only the the breadth, not the length. Only the breadth. We're gonna divide this breadth, this breadth, and this breadth by two. So let's start the geometry. Go to. Uh, I wanna change my plane color white. Go to rectangle. Okay, from there, just draw a rectangle. Negative 1.75. Then uh, breadth is 0.9 divided by two. So, okay. So zoom in a bit, and then now, now I'm gonna make a parallel line. So select a line. I'm gonna select this line, and then uh, select the point to place a parallel line through. So it's basically uh, it asks you to select a direction. So I'm gonna select this side. So it gives a line. Uh, it's a preview. You want to sell, uh, enter your uh, distance. So my distance is 0.75. Okay, and you're gonna apply because you, I want to make one more line. Select this and then select somewhere inside. Then give 0.15. And click OK. Uh, the next step is uh, I want to make a perpendicular line, which is really easy from here. Uh, just whatever. Okay. Uh, I use this select the line then hit F4 so it will give you the line properties so basically the green line is your uh, starting point of the line and then red point is your uh, ending point so my green must start from negative 0.15 and then my red uh, is end from uh, is to be end on uh, 0.75 negative my height is 0.5 divided by 2 on the end line Point five by two. So okay. And then I'm gonna make a normal endpoint line from there to there. And then I uh, I'm gonna edit right there. So my angle is 315. Basically it's a 45 degree chamfer. So 315. And then uh, my length is 0.15. Is it? No no no. So I just click OK now, go to line properties, and then I'm gonna give it here. Must be zero. And then uh, my y is 0.1. Yeah, that's pretty much. Now I'm gonna trim this. Go to the trim, break or extend. Use the divide or delete. Trim this, 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 and this. Go to your fillet option. Uh, your radius is 0.15. Select this one and this one as well. Click OK. So that's pretty much your geometry. Now we're gonna make tool pads. Before you start making your tool pads, you need to uh, select your machine type. So I already selected my machine type, lathe default. So go to your machine type, lathe, I'm sorry, lathe. Uh, I already have my machine here. If you uh, don't find your machine uh, in this list, go to manage list. Uh, it's right there. I will do it for you guys. Remove it and then uh, this is my machine. Generic has 2x lathe select and then add. Okay, go to machine type again. Lathe, you can find this uh, machine type in your list. Select it, It'll, uh, your machine will, machine group will appear here in the toolpaths window. So now you're gonna select your uh, stock setup. Before that, go to tool settings and then select your uh, material. My material is go to select. Then lathe library aluminium 60 61. Uh, check this off, check all these things off. Stock setup, 
so it's top plane left spindle go to properties so what it asks is it asks for your uh, your exact uh, geometry uh, dimensions so your outer diameter is 0.9 my length is 0.175 Oops, sorry 1.75 and then you want to use the use or use margin symbol what it does is it will give you a, a option for uh, giving you a, a extra stock value so I'm going to use uh, 100 thou uh, outer diameter and then my tip margin is 100 thou my left margin is uh, 1 point, uh, sorry, 0.75 inch um, what the left margin does is it gives enough uh, room for my chuck to clamp my piece so click OK, go to Chuck Jaws, Properties, select this one right there, then check this from stock, and then give a uh, grip length is 1.25, it's pretty much, it's really good 1.25, so OK, and then check all these things off, and then click, uh, I prefer to use shaded boundaries, then fit the screen, OK, so now go to toolpaths, phasing, OK. I use 80 degree tool bit I use 80 degree tool bit it's up to you guys face parameters your uh, uh, stock like this right from here uh, what it shows is the hundred hours from this point uh, it shows this uh, this extra stock material so if you don't give zero there when you uh, see your preview it won't clear anything so give zero your entry amount yeah Everything is fine. Go to rough step over and a uh, hundred thou, okay? Yeah. Stop to leave zero, retract a moment, so yeah. Okay. See, you can see the preview. And then let's make our roughing. Go to rough. Use partial. Go there. Select this line. Then the last line. So it selects the entire. Uh, Outer geometry. What most math scam does is when you select this first line and then your last line, it will select the entire geometry. But uh, my case, it's doing. It has some bugs, so it's not doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm gonna use the same tool of parameters. All that equal for TikTok. Cause I'm gonna go to 50 thou maximum uh, minimum content. Okay, stop to leave uh, 10 thou here. Yeah. So leading lead out extend to uh, 125, point 125, yeah, not 2.1. Okay, and okay. So it gives you the uh, view there. Yeah, almost done. So now we're gonna make our finish cut, finish turn. I don't want to select my uh, the geom the same geometry again. So I'm gonna give this last. What it does is it selects the uh, the last uh, geometry that you used so select it yeah okay uh, two I need is 55 degree two which will give a finest cut parameters uh, see all these things are, are in the same number uh, you can change it to two as well station number two feed rate yeah finish parameters step over zero stop loop zero and go to lead in lead out the same thing 0.125 and then 0.1 okay uh this roll uh, i don't really need throw rare right now okay so it takes off the extra material out there so that's pretty much it so let's check the tool yeah it's fine okay let's see the preview select uh, every tool paths go to preview isometric sorry isometric uh, just to zoom out of it okay so it's pretty awesome this is what it does basically so let's close this then uh, save this Stop. Two parts. Save. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, when you guys create this, keep in mind that uh, 
your stock value really really matters when you give a wrong stock value it gonna mess up so hope you guys enjoy the video um, like and subscribe see you next see you in my next video